Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Trigonometry ratios. This is what uh, some teachers like to call the Soka Toa lesson. Parts of a right angle triangle. So here we have our right angle triangle. We know it's right angle because, well, we have the right angle symbol here. Which means that this angle is at a 90 degree angle. And this only works, um, this, these trigonometry ratios that we're going to be looking at, only works with angles that are 90 degree angle. Opposite to the 90 degree angle is what we call the hypotenuse. So if we're looking at angle A here, okay, this is the, the, the angle that we've labeled. If we look to the other side, that's called the opposite side. It's opposite to whatever angle is our angle of question. That's the angle that we want to be looking at. So opposite to that angle, we draw. Hypotenuse never changes. Hypotenuse is always opposite to whatever the uh, 90 degree marker is. Okay. So which means if that's opposite, this is what we call the adjacent side to angle A. So here we're looking at the same triangle now, but we are looking at angle B. So again, hypotenuse, no different. Hypotenuse is still opposite to whatever the 90 degree angle is. But now the opposite side is based on opposite to whatever angle is the angle in question. And the angle in question is that, is that side right there. So we have angle B and opposite to angle B is that line. So AC, the line AC, which means if the, that's the hypotenuse, that's the opposite. This is the side that is considered adjacent to angle B. So here we have angle A, okay, again, opposite to the 90 degree angle is our hypotenuse, okay, opposite to A, that's the, what we call the opposite, so we go over the opposite, and this is the adjacent, okay. So when looking at a triangle, we want to look at whatever angle is in question. We come across the following ratios. Sine A is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine A is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And the tangent ratio for whatever angle A is, and if you, you notice we're looking at angle A with all these um, ratios, the sine ratio of A is the opposite divided by whatever the hypotenuse is. Cosine A is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, and tangent A is the opposite over the adjacent. Now, how do we remember all these ratios? And we're thinking, well, we can memorize that if we want, or we can come up with the following expression. So we, we're gonna label it again, okay? So angle C, Okay, the hypotenuse is always opposite to the 90 degree angle. Here in terms of B, that is the opposite side to angle B and the adjacent side, which is the side left over. And again, if we're looking at sine B, cosine B or tangent of B, these are the ratios that we're looking for. We're looking for these specific sides. But now how do we remember that? Well, we've come across the following expression. Okay, so if we're looking at angle A, okay, if we're looking at angle A here, this is the opposite. Opposite to this 90 degree angle is our hypotenuse, which means what's left over is our adjacent. And how do we remember that? Well, we come across the expression so ka toa, which means the sine of whatever angle that we're trying to find is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, okay? So what we have here is if we're trying to find sine and whatever letter, let's say, and we're gonna use 
this symbol theta. And that symbol theta, we're going to say, is going to represent any angle that we're looking at. So any angle that we're looking at. So we're going to put it in the place of this theta. So if we're looking at sine, it's whatever's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine of whatever, of whatever angle that we're looking at is equal to whatever is the adjacent divided by whatever the hypotenuse is. And if we're looking at the tangent angle, so any angle is equal to whatever is the opposite side divided by whatever's the adjacent. So the O divided by the A. And that's where we get so ka to. And that's a great way to try to remember the um, trigonometry ratios for any right angle triangle. So, here we have the, uh, the same triangle, but now we actually have uh, numbers to represent each side, okay? So if we're looking at angle A, okay, so we have the hypotenuse, which is no different, okay? So if we're looking at angle A, okay, we have the following labels, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. So using the Sokotoa rule, we, we can find sine A, cosine A, or tangent of A. So sine A, based on the so part of Sokotoa, it's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So we're going to take this opposite and divide it by this hypotenuse. If we're trying to find the cosine Okay, we're going to take the adjacent, okay, and it's adjacent to whatever angle A is, adjacent divided by whatever our hypotenuse is. And then lastly, if we're trying to find the tangent of angle A, okay, we are looking at the opposite divided by the adjacent. And we get as follows. If we're looking at now a different angle, let's look at a different angle here. We're going to be looking at angle B, and again, our numbers are going to be labeled differently. Let's label the correct size. So the hypotenuse doesn't change. The hypotenuse is always opposite to whatever the right angle is. Okay, Opposite to angle B is known as our opposite side, obviously, which leaves the missing or the last uh, side to label the adjacent. And again, we want to think of Sokotoa. Okay. <coughs> so in terms of Sokoto, if we're trying to find the sine angle of B, okay, so if we're trying to find sine B, if we're trying to find cosine B or tangent B, if we're trying to find sine of B, it's the opposite okay, divided by the hypotenuse. If we're trying to find the cosine B, it's the adjacent to angle B divided by the hypotenuse of angle B. We're not worried about that number. That number is not part of this if we're looking at the cosine okay, ratio. And lastly, if we're looking at the tangent of B, we're looking at what's opposite to B divided by what is adjacent. To be. And we're going to worry about what we do with the calculations um, as we get closer to the end of um, these slides, okay, to actually doing the actual calculation. But what we're doing here is we are creating what we call our trig ratios, okay, for the various uh, angles in question. 